So, today we are going to start the new chapter that is Laplace transform. So, it will be useful for diploma that means polytechnic students as well as engineering students even BSc students also. So, first so let us discuss so what is the Laplace transform. So, that means what is the definition of the Laplace transform. So, first let us discuss the definition of the Laplace transform. So, definition 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 let f of t be a function function t greater than 0 t greater than 0 the Laplace transform transform of f of t of f of t is denoted by denoted by denoted by Laplace of f of t or f of s f of s and defined as defined as follows as follows. So, L of f of t that means Laplace transform of f of t equals to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st e power minus st f of t dt. Here, where S is a parameter, S is a parameter and S may be real or complex or complex. So, this is the actually the definition of the Laplace transform. So, let me revise the definition of the Laplace transform. Let f of t be a function where t greater than 0. The Laplace transform of f of t is denoted by L of f of t or f of s sometimes f dash s also we can write and defined as follows. So, Laplace transform of f of t equals to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt where s is a parameter and s may be real or complex. Let us find out uh, some standard formulae on Laplace transform. So, first but in order to remember all the standard formulae regarding to the Laplace transform, so better to actually derive ourselves. So, first let us derive one by one, after that we can remember before going to solve the problems. So, first let us discuss the standard formulae on Laplace transform. So, that means elementary functions also, the Laplace transformations of elementary functions are standard formulae. The first one, so let us find out Laplace transform of 1. So, let us find out now. Here, solution by the definition of by the definition of Laplace 
Laplace transform 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 Laplace of f of t equals to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t f of t d t. So, now in order to find the Laplace transform of 1 that means instead of f of t we need to replace 1 am I correct now. So, that means therefore, we get Laplace transform of transform of 1 equals to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st multiplied by 1. So, that means e power minus st dt we get it. Now, we need to find out the definite integral of this one. So, we know that in indefinite integral e power a x d x equals to e power a x by a am I correct. So, now what is the integral of e power minus s t of d t. So, this equals to now we get integral 0 to infinity ok. Now, e power minus s t means here we need to write directly here e power minus s t divided by minus s limits 0 to infinity. So, now we can write this 1 by minus 1 by s common we have minus 1 by s common e power minus s t the limits 0 to infinity. Here you remember one thing. So, first upper limit we need to substitute as here here t tends to infinity the minus s t also minus infinity it becomes. So, that means indirectly we can write. So, limit here t tends to infinity the e power minus s t becomes 0 that means r 1 by infinity is 0. So, we get that value is 0. Here when you substitute the lower limit e to the power of 0 because minus s into 0 0. So, we can write minus 1 by s of this is 0 the minus 1 we can write. So, minus 1 by s multiplied by minus 1. So, what do you get? The minus 1 by s multiplied by minus 1 equals to 1 by s. So, therefore, Laplace transform of 1 equals to 1 by s. So, it has been derived. Okay, let us have a discussion for example here. Now, for example, if you want to find out now Laplace of 2, can you expect what is the Laplace transform of 2? As Laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s that means in terms of s whereas Laplace transform of 2 is 2 by s am I correct. So, in the similar pattern what is the Laplace transform of 3 that is 3 by s. So, what is the Laplace transform of 4 4 by s am I correct. So, for example, in the place of this 2 3 4 by observing the pattern if you replace any constant that is let us say c constant or k is provided c is constant or k is constant. So, now Laplace transform of constant is equal to constant by s the provided c is constant. So, now you need to apply all these things while solving the problems you have to keep in mind understood now. So, what is the Laplace of 1 that is 1 by s. So, now we shall prove one more standard result or elementary functions regarding to the Laplace transform.